So I'm here today with uh, Mr. DeFrederico, the phys ed teacher here at Nokomis, and we're going to talk a little bit about how he uses uh, iPod Touch and Google Forms to do some of his assessments and some of his scoring. It's kind of really neat uh, with the Google Forms and the, uh, the iPod Touch uh, that we do all of our skill grading um, as well as all of our uh, exams, uh, you know, off that, uh, you know, for our students. So we're able to take and uh, make sure that we get all of our, edit all of our student names into each of our classes. Uh, and then take and uh, go down through with a rubric and grade each of our students, uh, you know, according to their skill levels on a scale of one to four uh, on the iTouch. And, uh, you know, kind of really makes it neat that, uh, you know, we have that capability because we can do large numbers, plus it's immediate, uh, you know, printout right there as far as uh, skill grades for the students. We also can do, uh, you know, their class attire, you know, their attendance and so on and so forth with it. So it really kind of cuts our time basically in half in all of our paperwork uh, that we have to carry around with us. Once the Google Forms are set up, how hard is it to replicate that for other periods? It, it really isn't. Uh, we, we can just copy it uh, and send it into the other periods. Right now what we've done is put everything, all of our units, into folders. Yeah. And what I can do, these are all the, the units that we do, badminton, golf, pickleball, mountain biking, rollerblading, and weight training. So we're in pickleball, so I can select the pickleball piece, period one, two, three, five, seven. So all I do, this is period seven, I can select period seven, bring up the class, enlarge it, go down through, choose from the student list. These are the students that are in pickleball. I can choose them, and then I can down through and, and grade their six skills. Okay, from here, uh, once I've submitted it, it'll go right to the Google Docs, it'll be stored there. I will go in and pull up that period seven class, I'll refresh the period seven class, I'll pick the results, and then I'll print it out. And it'll have all my skill grades, all the most recent ones that I changed are updated, totally and tallied right there with all their averages. Uh, you know, once everything is entered and so on with it, it's, it's quite easy to navigate around it uh, and it gives us numerous options you know from results to entry uh, to you know doing charts and things of that sort to kind of compare all the results uh, you know with other classes and amongst our classes itself. Do you have any recommendations if somebody wanted to try something similar how would they start? Um, I, you know certainly come see you because <laughs> uh, you've been a tremendous help you know helping us set that up and we do have you know a couple of students that, that have done a great job uh, Haley Hayden being one uh, you know helping with this uh, but uh, it was something that we had tossed around for, you know, a couple of years, and we just got to the point where the paperwork was getting really enormous, and, uh, you know, carrying big clipboards around with all these, uh, and it really has condensed that and uh, just really legitimized it to the point now where, uh, you know, the Mayfair Conference has asked me to speak on that next year. I did a little side table with it this year with uh, several teachers that were kind of, you know, had the wow factor of you know having the iPod touch right in your hand moving around with your skill work your class work and so on and being able to grade them without carrying you know, you know clipboards and, and having a legitimate rubric uh, for each of the classes to, to, to grade with.